three, two, one, let's go. Kicking our bum. Getting nice and warm. This is a good heart racer to get the blood pumping. Making sure the oxygen's getting everywhere we need it to. Getting our legs warm too. So our muscles are nice and prepared for our workout to come. We've got some fun stuff on the agenda today. We're going to be working our full bodies. We've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. And then you're going to take a 20 second rest now. We're going to take 20 seconds. Our next one's high knees. So I want you to put your hands out as a nice guide and get those knees up as high as you can. You can march them just like this if you prefer, or we're going to take the pace up to, and you can run them. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Really nice. Well done for getting on this morning. Doing a great job at staying active, everyone. Got so many passes on offer to keep you going throughout your week. You're halfway. Really good. Final 10 seconds now. Perfect, well done. Take a rest. We're going to jump down onto our mat. We're going to do a plank. You can either do a plank and hold it on your toes or your knees. But we're, if you want to challenge, we're going to be going down, down, up, up in our plank. So down onto your elbows and then up onto your hands. So you ready? Off we go. Holding plank. All going down, down, and up, up. Up to you. You can do it here on your toes, or you can do it on your knees as well. Whatever is most comfortable. Really good job, guys. We've got this. Try not to wobble too much. Keeping our hips nice and still. Last one. Well done, give it a little stretch. That was really good. Staying down on the floor. We've got glute bridges next. So we're just going to lie on our backs with our knees bent, feet on the floor. And you're going to push your hips right up to the ceiling, squeezing your glutes together. Off we go. Push it up and squeeze. Trying to keep your knees nice and close together as well. Squeezing those inner thighs. Really good job. Squeezing your abs too. This is good for the abs. If you're finding this too easy, you can always take one leg up off of the floor. And then swapping over if you're taking your leg up off the floor. So it's nice and even. Last one. Well done. We are absolutely flying through these. So we're already on exercise number five. These are pendulums. So we're going to lay onto our back again. You can have your knees bent, which is slightly easier, or you can have them straight. You're going to take your arms out either side and you're going to pendulum your legs just like a clock all the way down to the floor. Remember, you can have them straight like this, or we can have them bent. This is slightly easier, but you should feel it in your abs. This is to work your abdominals, penduluming, making sure your core is engaged, and we're gonna feel that squeeze on the up as we come up from the floor with our feet. Three, two, and one. Good job. Give it a little hug, stretch out your back. Next one, we're going to come up. We're going to do a little bit of cardio. So jumping up off the floor. We're going to run to the side, knee up. 
Run to the side, knee up. That's our next one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Running, knee. Running, knee. Running, knee. Really good. As fast as we can. So one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Good job, guys. You all look great. You're doing an amazing job. Love to see you all so active. You might be outside because it's nice and sunny today. You've got a final 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Well done. Grab a drink and back down onto the floor. Now this one's slightly harder. We've got a press up. You can stick to a normal press up on your toes or your knees. But if you want a challenge, we're gonna press. And as we press down, we're gonna bring our knee up to the side and then swap to the other side. Off we go, are we ready? Knee comes up to the side or just a regular press up. Completely up to you. Or we can do them on our knees as well, regular press ups, whatever you're fancying, whatever you feel challenges you. Last one, well done. Give those arms a shake, they are intense. You should really feel those ones. We're gonna come back up for our last three exercises. We're gonna get down nice and low into a sumo squat. Turning those toes out, keeping your knees in line with your ankles. And you're going to raise up onto your calves, just like that. Push right up over those toes. We're going to feel these in our calves. Stay nice and low. You're going to feel it in your thighs a bit as well. If you're struggling with the calf raises, don't worry, just hold it in a sumo. Really nice, you've got 15 seconds left. Good, it should be starting to burn a little bit now. You wanna push as far over as you can, keeping those ankles forward over your toes. Careful not to roll them back or forward. Last one, well done, give them a shake. For our next one, we're going to assume the same position. So we're going to feel a little burn in our thighs, but we're going to do a side crunch next. So back down into sumo. We're going to take our hands behind our heads and we're going to side crunch, touching our elbow to our knee. Good, staying nice and low. Really nice. You are going to feel it in your legs now though. But we should also feel it in our obliques, right down the side of our abs. You've got a final 15 seconds. Well done. Keep pushing, we got this. Three, two, one. Good, give those legs a shake, that's a burner. And we've gone and coming on to our last exercise of round one, so well done. We're gonna finish off with some cardio, doing some star jumps. Are we ready? Let's go. Star jumps to finish off. Then we've got one more round, and that's gonna be a great 20 minute burner. Really good job. I love being able to see you all. So nice seeing everyone on the live like this, getting involved. You've got a final 10 seconds. Nearly there. Well done. You've got a 40 second rest. If you've got any questions, or queries, pop them into the chat for me now. I'll be able to take a look.
Everyone looks like they're doing a great job though. Everyone looks like they're doing really well. Use this chance to get a drink. And we've got 10 seconds left. We're gonna start with those bum flicks again. Are we all ready? Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Kicking our bum. Going as fast as we can, raising that heart rate. Getting a sweat on. Good job. You're halfway through now. The sun is shining and we're feeling good today. We're going to have a nice productive day. Final five seconds. Well done, taking a 20 second rest. This time for our high knees, we are gonna challenge our brains a little bit. And we're gonna go single, single, double jump, single, single, double jump for our high knees. So you do two singles and then a double, swapping knees each time. Let's go, single, single, double, single, single, double. Good. Single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. Good job. Single, single, double. You all look like you've got it. You're doing great. Get your knees up nice and high. Single, single, double, single, single, double. Last one. Well done. Exercising our heart and our brains this morning. So we're going back down onto the floor for exercise three for that plank. Remember, we can go down onto our elbows, up onto our hands, on our toes or our knees, or we can just hold a plank if you find that too difficult. So let's go. We're going down and then back up again. Trying to keep our hips nice and still. You can do it on your knees as well. That's absolutely fine. As long as you can feel it doing its work in your shoulders. Final 10 seconds now. You've nearly made it. Last one. Well done, give it a little stretch. Should feel that in our shoulders. And we're staying down, turning round for our glute bridge. So laying on our back, and we're gonna take our hips right up to the sky. Off we go. Right up. Remember you can lift one leg if you wanna feel it more intensely and squeeze right at the top. We're gonna to hold this leg up if you choose to do so for halfway. And now we're gonna swap over to make sure it's nice and even. And last squeeze, well done. Remember we're gonna stay here, staying down on the floor. We've got pendulums next. Doing these with either bent or straight legs, whichever you find easiest, whichever you can feel. Our lower back should remain on the floor the whole time. In three, two, one, let's go. Taking it side to side. Either straight or bent legs but we should feel it in our abs, particularly in our lower abs as well. Really good, you're halfway. Careful not to hold your breath on this one, it's so easy to do that, but you wanna keep breathing, that's gonna help you engage your core. Five seconds, 
Last time. Well done. Hug them in, give your back a little stretch out, and we're going to jump back up now. We're doing our three runs and knee up. Next. So are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Run, run, knee. Run, run, knee. Run, run, knee. Really well done, as fast as we can. Good job. This is our cardio. This is full body, so we're getting a bit of everything in. You're halfway. Getting nice and low on the knee up, crunching it. Three, two, one. Great, grab a drink, stay hydrated. Back down onto the floor for Spider-Man press up or regular press up. It's up to you. Remember as we press, we're bringing our knee to our elbow. You ready? Let's go. Breathing out as you push back up again. If you can't do these, go to regular press up. You're halfway. Three, two, one. Good. Stretching it out. Stretch out those shoulders and coming up again for our final three exercises. We're nearly there. We're going to squat down into a sumo. Knees in line with the ankles and we're going to calf raise. Let's do this. Remember, you want to push the heels forward over the toes. Don't roll them in or out. Trying to keep our bum in line with our knees and we'll feel the burn in both our calves and our thighs. Over halfway now. You're doing a great job. Final five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Give the legs a shake. Get that rid of that lactic acid. Because we're going to resume that sumo squat and do our side crunches. Ready? Down we go. Hands behind our head. And let's crunch. Elbow to knee. Really nice, everyone. Smashing it. Got a great team here this morning. I love it. You're halfway through already. I know it's starting to burn a little bit now, but we've just got this final push. Last 10 seconds. Final five. And last crunch. Well done. Shake it out again. And we're on our last exercise of the session. Well done, everyone. Star jumps to finish off. Just get that final burn. Are we ready? Off we go. Well done. Really good. You're halfway. Nearly there, this is our final chance to push. Final five, three, 
two, one. Yes, well done. Give yourselves a big clap. That was awesome. So we're going to finish with a stretch. Standing at the ends of our mat or with lots of space. We're going to start take, by taking our hands, palms up to the ceiling. Palms up. Slowing down our breath. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, reaching all the way down to the floor. All the way down now. You should feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Who pull yourselves a little bit closer if you can't. And we're going to walk our hands a few paces forward and push our chest right down into the floor. Keep your heels on the mat. Keep your heels down. Try and push that weight into your heels and feel the further stretch all up the back of your legs. And we're going to take our knees down onto the floor and then take our bum back onto our heels. Stretching out our lower backs now and our shoulders. Good, and we're going to bring it through and we're going to push up into an ab stretch. You can come up onto your hands, keeping your elbows soft, or you can come up like this on your elbows, whichever makes you feel it the most, whatever's most comfortable for you. Really nice. Further the stretch, take your head back if you need to. Doing a great job. Nice, and we're just going to turn round. So this time, our hands are sitting right next to our bum, either side of our hips, and you're gonna bring yourself forward as low down as you can. Doesn't matter how far you can get, it only matters if you can feel the stretch in the front of your shoulder blades. And you can wiggle your hands a little bit closer together to further that stretch. But you should feel it in the front of your shoulder blades. Good job. Lovely, and lying back onto our backs now. We're going to take one leg across the other, knee facing outwards, and we're going to take our hands in between our legs and hug it into our chest. Feel the stretch in the glue of the knee that is bent. Keep it facing outwards as much as possible. Lovely, take some deep breaths here. Pulling it in a little bit closer each time. And now we're going to swap over to the other side, cross the leg over, knee facing outwards the whole time. Take your hands in between and squeeze it towards your chest. Squeezing it as close as possible, feeling it all up here, all up the side of your leg. Really good. And we're just going to finish off by coming up into a comfortable seated position, whatever's comfortable for you. And you're going to take one arm across and one under. Really good. And then the other side. And finally, one arm up. Touch in between your shoulder blades and then one support in the elbow. And then onto the other side, one arm up between your shoulder blades and the other support in your elbow. Really good and relaxing. Coming up in your own time now. Don't jump up too quickly. Well done to everyone for joining in. You did a great job. We did a really good hit workout. I hope you feel like you worked hard. You all did amazing. You're all set up for the day now. We've got loads of um, workout classes for the rest of the week. I've got another one on Thursday morning at 9.30 if you want to um, book onto that. I've also got Dance Fit at 10.15 on a Friday, which is so much fun. That's my favourite. Last week we had 150 people, so it was really, really good fun. I hope to see you all soon. Well done, everyone. Have a good day. Enjoy the sunshine, and I'll see you soon. Bye.